This tutorial will help you learn more about using Adobe Digital Editions for downloading NC Live eBooks. Adobe Digital Editions is free software that you install on your home computer to help you manage your downloaded eBooks. You need to install Adobe Digital Editions if you want to download eBooks to your computer because many eBooks are protected by Digital Rights Management Technologies, or DRM. Adobe Digital Editions authorizes your computer to access the DRM protected eBooks. This is what my computer's authorization looks like in Adobe Digital Editions. The eBooks that you borrow can only be downloaded to one computer, so if you download an eBook to a public computer using Adobe Digital Editions, you will not have access to it later from your home computer. Let's go through the process of installing Adobe Digital Editions on your home computer. First, go to this website, www.adobe.com slash products slash digital hyphen editions dot html. Click the download now link on the right and then select Macintosh or Windows. Save the file and then right click to open and run the installer. Follow the on-screen prompts until Adobe Digital Editions is finished installing. If your computer does not do so automatically, open Adobe Digital Editions. Then go up to the Help menu and select Authorize Computer. If you already have an Adobe ID and password, you can authorize your computer now. If you do not have an Adobe ID and password, click on the link that says Create an Adobe ID. A new browser window will open, and you can follow the on-screen prompts to create your Adobe ID and password. You need an Adobe ID and password so that you are licensed to view the Digital Rights Management Protected eBooks. When you have finished creating your Adobe ID and password, go back to Adobe Digital Editions and enter your Adobe ID and password to authorize your computer. Click the Authorize button and then click OK. Once you have authorized your computer for the first time, your downloaded eBooks will open automatically in Adobe Digital Editions. Here's an example. I'm already logged into NC Live, so if I click the eBooks link to get to the eBooks portal, and then click on eBooks on EBSCOhost, I can select an eBook, click the link that says download this eBook offline, I can sign into my EBSCOhost account, I'm going to check out and download this book for just one day. And there it is, opening automatically in Adobe Digital Editions. I hope that this tutorial has provided some helpful information about the purpose of using Adobe Digital Editions and the process for installing the software. If you have questions about using Adobe Digital Editions, you will find that Adobe's support pages are very detailed. And of course, you can always ask for assistance at your library or by contacting the NC Live Help Desk.